So, uh, you know, big fight in your division. That's where you, you've beaten guys. I mean, you fought guys like, you know, Yuri and, and all these other dudes. Um, you bounced around a little bit. You got from Risen, Bellator, and then uh, uh, Showcase, I think it's called, in Stockholm. Spirit Challenge. Thank you, Spirit Challenge. I apologize for that. Uh, how do you feel being back in the Bellator cage and, you know, in front of, like, a t big television audience? Well, it feels great. It feels great to be back here. And, like, this is the highest level, and this is where I think I belong. So it's great to be here. Right, so this fight, again, every fight's a big fight for every fighter, but what, what are you looking to do or to prove in this particular fight? Well, I'm facing a very dangerous and very tough opponent, very skilled, former champion in a big uh, Russian organization, so I think I have a lot to prove. I need to prove my heart and like make this a grind fight. Okay. Yeah, and obviously fighting at 205, um, being a Swedish fighter, do you take any inspiration from Gustafsson at all? Well, I trained a lot with Gustafsson over yeah. the years, so he gives good advice, good tips, and like, yeah, he's an inspiration. I like to have him so close. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Yeah, and I was thinking, um, so since you train with him so much, is there anything that you kind of picked up from him? Well, I know you can't really talk much about it, but um, in terms of skill set, and what really has he taught you? Well, he learned he more shares his experience than to share technique. We come from still from two different clubs in Stockholm. But he mostly shares his wisdom and experience, and like we try stuff out in sparring. So we have a good, and healthy relationship. Right? Awesome. You. You're positioned on this card on the preliminary bouts of uh, the light heavyweight Grand Prix. Uh, just wondering on your thoughts on the two fights at the top of the card, because I mean this is the division that you're going to be working your way up in, and do, you know one emphatic performance, and you're right in the mix. Just wondering your thoughts, firstly, on uh, Bader and uh, how that's going to shake out. And One more time, sir. Oh, sorry. It was a long question. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was basically just saying that uh, but your thoughts and opinions on the main event. Okay. Yeah. The main event? Yes. Uh, I think Badim will, well, he's the favorite on paper. I think he will probably get the victory, but I think his problem might be if he's underesting mating Julius, because Julius is obviously a skilled tough fighter, and, uh, well, nobody, Thinks he's going to win, so I think he still has a good chance to make a good performance and maybe get away with the win. Absolutely. And thoughts on uh, the uh, Bader and Corey Anderson? Ooh, that's a tough fight. Uh, I think uh, I think maybe Corey will take this one. I don't know why. It's just a gut feeling. Like. All right. In what areas do you feel like you're better than your opponent? And do you, and do you feel belt or the best two or five pounders in the world? Uh, one time, the last part. Do you feel Bellator has the best two or two or five pounders in the world? I had one. Yes, actually, I think I do. I think uh, Vadim is the champion of the organization. I think he would give a very tough fight to John Blahovich for his money, who's the best fighter in the world right now. So I forgot the first one. Um, in what areas are, are, do you feel you're better than your opponent? I think I have a better ground game than my opponent. He's obviously uh, more of a striker. He's very explosive and seems like a strong guy. I think I have a better, except the ground game, I think I have a better, maybe better cardio and better 3D dimensional mixed martial arts style. And one last question, what's your prediction? I will finish this fight. I don't know which round, but I will finish this fight. Thank you.